Well, we left Gibraltar uh, just after midday, after uh, some repairs to the engine. Uh, we had the beginnings of a Levanta, so as we came down towards Tarifa, the winds got fresher and fresher from the east. Um, our strategy, upon talking to people, was to get in as close to the coast as possible, around about the 20 metre mark, to try and avoid any confrontation with the Orcas. Um, so I did. Uh, it's the closest I've ever been. Uh, we clipped the first cape here and then just followed the coastline. Um, thought everything was going well until at about 1800 hours, almost a beam of barbat. I was on watch, the autopilot was on and I suddenly noticed the wheel spinning. So I killed the autopilot, killed the engine, turned off all the electrics, pulled in all the sails. And then they started basically to play with us for the next two hours, um, hitting, continuously hitting the rudder, but also sort of almost three or four, the three of them abreast, pushing the boat around quite, quite a lot. It was never very aggressive, but they're obviously very big, heavy, powerful animals. So at some point I was on a lee shore. I had uh, Cape Trafalgar and the offline reefs about three to four miles downwind of me. So we had to, we pulled out the mizzen and some of the genoa and just slowly started to get some sea room. As soon as we started sailing, they became a bit more active. They made them a little bit more interested uh, and they started hitting the rudder quite a lot more, um, making it quite hard to hold a course. Um, as soon as I had the sea room, we had the sails back in and we just uh, lay a hull really. Maybe just had the mizzen up to hold us slightly up to it. Um, they carried on until, I don't know, you know what, I think they realized they'd broken the rudder and they just suddenly all disappeared. Um, and then of course when we tried to start sailing again we discovered we had it was very very hard to steer um, and we sort of crabbed our way up towards Cadiz using the, uh, the mizzen, the engine and when we actually got into Cadiz, the bay of Cadiz we had to start using the bow thruster just to try and stay on course and we've, uh, we've managed, managed to get into Puerto Sherry which is up here we're anchored in on the breakwater uh, here and we're waiting, for, we're waiting for the wind to drop so that we can get into the marina. Um, we've looked at the rudder and it significantly damaged quite a lot of delamination and actually looks like they've broken the rudder stock as well so luckily amazing that we actually managed to get here under our own steam to be honest. Anyway that's us.